What up YouTube, it's your girl Whispers, AKA The Blind Goddess, and today I will be giving you guys the story of The Blind Goddess. So let's give y'all The Blind Goddess breakdown. I am a goddess because I was made in the image of God and I'm blind, but it hasn't been that way all my life. So five years ago, I was on my way to meet a friend one night and as I sat in my car, someone approached my car with a gun. So as I sat there trying to figure out what the hell was going on, I knew that I didn't have time to sit there and figure out what the hell was going on. Um, I didn't, I didn't know this guy. I had never seen him around town. And I didn't see the only person that I knew. You know, the my friend that I, I knew was there at one point in time was nowhere in sight. So I tried to pull off. And as I pulled off, that's when I got shot the first time. So the first bullet that hit completely took my vision in my right eye. I couldn't see nothing. Like, it was gone. But at the time, I didn't notice that's what had even happened. I didn't feel like I had got shot. I didn't. There was no screams. There were no nothing. I just get away. That was the only thing on my mind and as I pulled off I got shot the second time which took the vision in my left eye along with shattering the complete left side of my face now the craziest thing about this is I don't know what happened and the crazier part to me is that I didn't feel any pain, like nothing. And I got weak, I got super weak. And the last thing I even remember being able to see was a street light, a few parked cars and a telephone pole. And I just let go of the steering wheel. I couldn't, I was weak. I couldn't see. There was nothing I felt like I could do. So, I just lay there. Um, I could hear the blood pouring out of my head. So gross. Um, and, That's what I remember. I remember a lady screaming at the top of her lungs and just praying for me um, and calling the ambulance. Now, when the ambulance got there, the police were crazy. It, I could just hear it madness around me. So. I remember the first officer walking up and just saying she's dead and I'm just sitting there like what <laughs> like what do you mean like this isn't life after death like no way the officer checked my pulse again and the ambulance rushed me to the hospital I remember talking to the EMT telling them that I thought I was pretty that day. <laughs> Nowhere in the state of mind that I had just been shot and I couldn't see. None of that registered to me at the time. I remember as I was getting put into the ambulance, I finally heard my friend, the person that I went to go meet. Um, and he was just yelling, like, 
Don't die on me, please. I'm sorry. I love you. And I remember the EMTs cutting my clothes off and me being like, no, these are my favorite shorts. <laughs> and he's like, you know, this is protocol. And I just kept saying, but my head hurts. And next thing I know, I am at the hospital waking up from a surgery. My family's in the room. I can hear them crying. And as crazy as it sounds, I still at this point never question why I couldn't see or what was going on. It probably was about six times they had to tell me what happened as I woke up each time. Like, what, what's going on? Like, why is it so dark? I was lost. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what happened. I didn't, I didn't think that I had got shot. Like, from me not feeling what I thought it would feel like if I had got shot, I thought I had just blacked out or that it was the me crashing into the other cars and the telephone pole. So the doctor comes in and tells me the breakdown of what was going on with me. I was, I am. <laughs> I am completely blind. I have no light perception. I don't see shadows. I see pitch black all day, every day. It's <laughs> not so funny. Um, so finding out that I was blind just was crazy. It was shocking. It was, it hurt my feelings more than anything, but I knew that it was what it was. It is what it is. I was on a lot of strong medicine. Um, the same thing they give cancer patients for pain. So... Now, let's get into the surgeries and the recovery process. I had an eye repair surgery on my right eye. I had facial reconstruction on the left side of my face from my eyebrow to my gum line um they had to put five metal plates and 22 screws in the left side of my face along with three artificial bones um my recovery process was crazy as the rest of the story is um I was in the hospital for 14 days. So the 14 days I was in the hospital, I was in the ICU, um, except for the last four days. When I went home, actually, I had moved into a new house. So it was crazy. I had to learn a whole new setting, a whole new place, and I had to do it without my vision. For a while, when I first got home, I just laid in the bed. I couldn't stand up for long periods of time. I would start to feel nauseous and weak. Um, I couldn't really do too much on my own. 
for the first four months, I would say, I really just rested. It was like being on bed rest in a sense. As time went on, I realized that I couldn't open my mouth, like, at all. I couldn't eat. I lost all my weight. I got down to 107 pounds. And I'm five eight and a half, so that's not a good weight. <laughs> As the time went by, I tried to get up and just start doing little things. Um, on my own without anybody helping me so at a follow-up appointment i'm telling the doctor um yo i can't open my mouth and at first they just kept telling me what's well, the swelling it's the surgeries it's this it's that so me you know i had never been shot before so i'm listening to the doctors because i feel like okay you know what you're talking about they didn't. My mouth would not open because one of the plates they put in my face was pressing up against my jawbone. And the time that I went without opening and closing my mouth made the cartilage harden. So I could separate my teeth one centimeter. I couldn't chew, I couldn't do anything. So, here came the next surgery with the oral, facial, maxial dentistry. Mm. Tongue twister. But, um, I had to get a piece of my lower jawbone taken out on each side so that I could open my mouth again. I had to do rehab to learn how to chew um, again. I had to um, use this little machine to stretch my mouth open every day. It was uncomfortable it hurt like hell um but that was just another part of my healing process so after I got my surgery for my mouth I got back on track I was able to eat again I gained a little weight back and I was ready to get back to my normal self I wanted to be the independent self I was before this incident. So getting back to my normal self, which included things like music, modeling, and writing, I knew that there were things that I needed to learn that I couldn't teach myself. So I ended up at the Center for the Blind. So a few things that I did at the Center for the Blind included assistive technology, home management and finance, um, braille, and keyboarding. Within a year's time, I completed all of my courses at the Center for the Blind and subsequently I got a certificate in Adult Peer Support Specialist which I was the first completely blind person to do so. Yay me. <laughs> and fast forwarding to now, I am at a humble place to where I feel like I can focus on my crafts. I can focus on my music. I can focus on my writing and my modeling and just letting my creative juices flow naturally again. I honestly come up with a new idea every other day that seems like the most amazing thing in the world. So be expecting so much more of the blind goddess. Stay tuned. Kisses from a goddess. Mm -hmm.